Hey what's going on guys, my name is Brad, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another Duel Links video. Before we get into today's video, I want to say thank you for all the support on the previous two Pegasus videos that went out on the channel. You know, covering the uh, the budget farming deck and covering the level 50 duel, and just covering the event in general. I want to say a big thank you to that. Uh, there's rumoured to be a Yugi event happening on uh, end of uh, beginning of May, sorry. So I'll try and get another budget build up for you guys for that event. Uh, assuming that uh, his deck doesn't change, it should be quite easy to build one for. So, uh, yeah, let's get into today's video. So, we are going back to the Dark Bolt of the Terrible deck, because this is a deck that I have been absolutely loving playing with. Now, I've made a few small changes to the deck based on some feedback I got from the comments section uh, down below. So, first of all, I replaced the Fusion Gate with a third copy of Polymerization. I finally bought that from the card trader just a minute ago. I got rid of one uh, enemy controller and replaced it with Fusion Sage, which is obviously from the uh, Chaotic Compliance set. It's going to help us to... Search for polymerization a lot quicker, and finally I added in a Golden Apples just because we do need a little bit more uh, support just in case we don't join to the cards we need. Now of course this deck is just for fun, it might not do too great in competitive play, but I'm not really focused on that, I'm focused on having fun with this game, and uh, that's how I'm going to play the game from now on, and forever really. So let's go into PP Arena, we're going to do you know about 15 minutes of video, we're currently silver rank 5. And I've been, I lost one duel. I played a bunch of duels last night. I was uh, I was up very, very late watching uh, Darmin's stream. If you know who Darmin is, then uh, uh, he's a very, very good uh, duel links YouTuber. I definitely recommend you check him out. But uh, I was watching him stream last night and we, uh, I played a lot of uh, a lot of duel links in the background. So let's see, how, I'm not, and also I've not used this deck yet. Uh, these changes I literally made right before recording this video, so Hopefully we can do okay. Um, if we get three losses, we get three losses. But we've, we're starting off with instant access to Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon, which is great. Not that I'm going to use it though, because unless he goes first, but I can't remember who got the coin flip in, unless it hasn't been done yet. But I, I had a Kyber like this before. He's definitely got restart. Uh, okay, so we're starting first. That's cool. I'm going to, of course, use Thunder Dragon just to cycle through the deck a little bit quicker. And I'm not going to summon it this turn. I'm just going to obviously summon out our Frontier Wise Man in attack mode and then set our Mirror Wall just so we got some protection. I've had some really good duels with this uh, this deck. I've had a uh, had an OTK uh, last night. Yeah. Oh, Heart of the Underdog. Okay. I haven't seen this card be, be used much. So I'm guessing he's running, you know, a generic beatdown deck. Yeah, it seems that, you know. Near the Magic Swords, but I'm guessing he's going to have some Warrior Digrephers in there. Jerry Beans Man, you know, just to stack up his hand. But he's going straight in for the attack, which, you know, obviously I wouldn't have done. Because if I'm setting a monster in attack mode and it's, you know, I've got a trap card face down, you should really, really be able to tell that uh, it's not going to go too favorable if you drew into our second polymerization. That's nice. Uh, we're going to get rid of Mirror Wall because we hopefully will be able to, you know, just win this turn if he doesn't have a uh, Sphere Karibo or, you know, a Winston Vitarkle, which he might do. Or he's got a Magic Drain, which either way we're kind of fine. Um, I've seen a lot of people use DD Trap Hole, I believe that's a card as well, so obviously uh, when your monster is summoned, it loses half its attack points, which is pretty good. It's a really nice card because I don't think many people actually expect it to be played, but uh, let's see how well this goes. Obviously we're going to attack with our Frontier Wiseman first of all. He's got something to chain. But he's not going to use it on that one. Or not. Okay. That was a uh, a very quick, very, very easy first duel for today's video. Right. I wonder how long we've got until we rank up actually. Maybe it might be this one, it might be. We might get to gold in this video, assuming that we uh, manage to get some more wins under our belt. Apologies for my voice, I'm really, really losing. Oh, this is the best type of duel. Winning your gain of rank. However, from my experience, like people have just been using um, Karate Man OTK a lot, especially when they're going to go up a, up a stage. So uh, we'll have to see. But we're both rocking. When he's rocking a 22 card deck, we're rocking 21 cards. We, oh my god, this hand. It's the exact same hand as last duel. 
Thank you, Konami. And given that he's using uh he's using Yami Yugi with the uh the power of dark uh skill, then I'm guessing he's running, you know, just straight up beat down spellcasters. That would be my guess. You know, so maybe he'll have a Neo the Magic Swordsman. It's kind of a shame that we can only actually have access to one right now, and obviously people that weren't here for that free event uh, do not have access to that card, which is a, a little bit of a shame. Well, let's see what he plays. Ooh, okay. Did not expect that. Guardian of the Throne Room. He's straight up ending his turn. That's, uh... Ooh. So, the question here is, do we go for... A fusion summon. Now, I'm going to. I'm going to go for, obviously, Twin Headed Thunder Dragon just because I have the materials in hand to make it. Obviously, I could have gone for Dark Bolt of the Terrible, which probably would have been better because I don't think I've actually played Dark Bolt of the Terrible in one of these videos, uh, which is a kind of annoying. But we can, uh, let's see what we can do. Let's attack into this guy. And, okay, he's got Spear Kribo. Has two in his hand. At least one of them. Or not? Okay. What? He's got something in his hand. Unless it's a twister. But then again, he wouldn't be able to chain that, so... Don't know what he's doing. There we go. Two very quick wins in a row. It's been like five minutes, I believe, since we started this video. We've already got two wins under our belt with this deck. And we advanced into gold as well, which is uh, really nice. Got some, got some keys. That's always, always beneficial. Really wanted to do a uh, another double key event. That's definitely my uh, my favorite of the bonuses because I don't mind leveling up like slower uh, for characters. I mean, it will it will prolong the game for me because I don't know when they're gonna add levels beyond sixty. Or beyond 35, sorry, uh, for the characters. So again, okay, we're using Power of Dark. He's using Power of Dark as well. A lot of Power of Dark users. Okay. We're going second this time. However, we're in a very good spot because we can get Twin Thunder Dragon out in our first turn. We've also got Possessed Dark Soul. So, huh. Oh, Disc Blade Rider. Okay. And a second Polymerization. That's... Very handy indeed. So let's use Thunder Dragon's ability just to, to cycle it out to uh, to get one from our deck to our hand. Now, we're going to have to go for Twin Headed Thunder Dragon because otherwise we're pretty much going to lose if we don't uh, summon anything. And I don't really want to waste my Possessed Dark Soul straight away. Um, but I'm still going to summon it this turn, obviously. Hopefully this attack goes through. Okay. He has something to chain. It, it could it could be mirrorful. It could uh, it could be mirrorful. That's the that's the one thing that it, I don't want it to be. If it's mirrorful. We've lost, which you know is my fault for attacking into. Oh, it's mirrorful. Of course it is. <laughs> okay, I'll uh, I'll happily accept the loss here. We we took a risk. It didn't pay off. Is he going to keep it up on the field? Is he going to pay 2,000 to really keep it up? Yeah, he is. Okay. So basically, all we can really... Uh, we're going to survive just about. All we can really hope for is we get um, Frontier Wiseman. And I believe we will be okay. Ah, Mirror Wall. Okay. Well, our first loss was bound to happen sometime. Of course, it was our first duel within gold ranking which uh which makes sense you know this deck isn't designed to be you know played in i wouldn't, I wouldn't say higher tiers because gold isn't that high gold is really low but uh okay yeah summon skull i'm not letting you get the uh well he's not gonna get the 3000 point thing anyway but i'm uh i'm still i'm still gonna play Mirror wall if I can. 
Oh, he's got Metal Morph, so yeah, he would he would get the uh, 3k dual assessment. But sorry, mate, you're not going to get the 3k. You'll uh, you'll have to do with having uh, 1600 attack points. But that's fair. Our first loss of today's video. Let's uh, let's go and jump right back in. I just don't want to. I don't want to derank in today's video. I really don't want that to happen. But I know it will. I know if we continue going on for a long time, then it's going to happen. But this might end up being the last duel of the video. So, uh, okay. So if Taya loses, she loses a rank. So we we better win this one so we can. Uh, knock this person out of a uh, gold division or at least part of gold I don't know whether they're in gold one gold two Ugh. I mean we're set if we uh if we still had fusion gate in our deck we could go for two fusion monsters if we drew into fusion gate but we've now got four in 17 chance of joint polarization spear Rebo, that's fine we're gonna make that a lot less we're gonna bring our thunder dragons to our hand. Thankfully we had two of the uh, Frontier Wisemans because if we had two of the Possessed Dark Souls I would have been a little bit more worried. Gonna attack into it, it's gonna be... okay. I am Blacksmith Kotetsu. Nice, what's he gonna get? Mask of the Accursed, that's a bit of a pain. We just gotta hope that uh, the odds are in our favour, and then obviously as soon as we join to polymerization, we are going to sacrifice that Frontier Wiseman and, uh, you know, go for the, uh, the Dark Bolter. Oh, the Unhappy Girl! What a, uh... What a weird thing to put in here. Now, do we... No, we let that... Okay, she's got... She's got Holy Guard skill on, that was kind of obvious. There we go, polymerization, so we can now automatically go... Here's this, we're gonna... Fusion Summon Dark Bolter with the, uh, the guy on the field... And the guy in our hand. Unfortunately, we, uh... We could have actually... I think the better play there would have been to summon our... Uh, dark Possessed guy taking control of that so that we can just go attack into it see what happens because we're still going to deal our damage which at the end of the day is better than nothing even if we don't get to attack with a okay giant javelin is going to gain 2200 life points and then going to take 1600 that's that's fine because if she wants to tribute something should have to do she have to tribute that to summon it so she might get summon skull out which would be an easy way to go about things obviously we're kind of hoping for another polymerization just so we can uh, there we go that's exactly what i wanted so we can polymerization into twin thunder dragon now obviously we're going to go for the uh the face down because that will then prompt her to attack into twin thunder dragon on her turn with the unhappy girl. Ooh, Gale Lizard. That's... Look at the line. I did not expect... I did not expect that at all. It's nice to see some people running uh, some of the new Chaos Compliance cards in their decks rather than, you know, not advancing the meta in any way, which is uh, it's nice to see a little bit of diversity in this game. Mirror Wall. Nice, we'll set that face down. Obviously, thankfully, she hasn't got um, access to Mask of the Accursed anymore, so we're not taking damage. But we're in a bit of a tough spot because we have one more polymerization left in our deck. So that's one more fusion summon we can make. Now, if we... Ah, oh, you had to go and do that, didn't you? You had to go and summon the unhappy girl. Now, what we potentially could do is if we draw into, uh, what's it called? Enemy controller, we can put her unhappy girl into the defense mode and then attack into it. 
because that will uh, break. Oh my god, all three unhappy girls on the field. Jesus. Yeah, this, this video is going to be a little bit longer than 15 minutes. I think we've just crossed the 15 minute mark. She's not attacking with any of the other ones, which is not smart. She really should be now. The question is, do we... I think we're going to summon Spear Karibo. In attack mode. You know, why not? She might be like, why is he doing that? But then we're going to activate this guy. We're going to activate enemy controller. And we're going to tribute one monster and take control of her unhappy girl. The one in the middle. The one that has all of our links. So now, we... Oh, they still can't attack. Really? Right. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. So now we can attack into these guys. Obviously, okay, enemy controller, putting it into defense mode, that's... That's okay. We can still deal 1200 points of damage to this one. Still get her life points down a little bit more. Um, of course, that didn't work the way we had planned. But... <laughs> This is why this is these are the kind of duels that I like to see. I like these interesting takes on decks. I did not expect the unhappy girl to be in PvP at all. So we could use Mirrorwall to halve her attack to 300, so she'd take 1100. Um, what is that? I'm trying to see what my other face down is. I can't remember what my other face down is. Like, do I do it? I think I'm going to do it. Because she doesn't seem to want to attack. Oh, of course she's not going to take any damage, is she? I'm an idiot. It's not my turn. It's not. It's her turn. She's not taking any, uh, any damage. That was a complete and utter waste. However, it depends on what we draw now. We could draw into another Spear Karibo, which is just... So what do we really need? Okay, we really... We really can't do a lot. So I kind of wish there's something like Dark Holes in this game so we could just wipe our field out. Or... And then summon from the mini possessed and then go for the... Uh... Huh. See, we could summon this dude. Okay. Now, if we attack into it, we're going to deal her some damage, which is fine. We know what we're getting into. Winston with Tarqua, well, that's a little bit more beneficial, I guess. Uh, I just really hope we can draw into polymerization. I'm just trying to think of a way that we can, uh... There's no point. There's no point in me wasting Sphere Crew because she has other unhappy maidens already targeting my other monsters. Uh, if she, if she didn't have anything targeting that middle one, then I probably would have, uh... Would have done it, but she's obviously she's getting she's building her links up, and obviously I'm down to seven cards. She's down to six. So the question is, oh, I don't know what. I don't know what's going to happen if we tribute. If we tribute this guy uh, with its ability, take control of all face-up level three or level monster opponent controls. Like, I don't think it will work. So I'm gonna... Gonna put enemy controller face down. Just in case... We think of anything that we can do with it. Now, the thing I'm thinking... Is... That we... Tribute... 
tribute this guy. And if that, let's take total one of them, we grab one, put it in defense mode. Um, and then we can use enemy controller to tribute one. Let's change one's battle position. So like we'd... Doesn't really matter who we do really, would it? It'd have to be that one and that one. So we get access to this guy. So I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it for the chocolate biscuit. Ooh. So let's take control of you. Oh my god. Why is that a thing? Why is that? Oh, because we had to, we had to tribute. We could take. We took control of all of them technically. We can only have one on our fields. So we just destroyed them all. That's really good. I completely did not know that by stake, but that is a nice use case for uh, for this card. But that is going to be it for today's dueling video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this extended PvP video. I've got a. I guess it's a rank up reward. Yeah, 53 gems. We're getting close to that 5,000 gems. We could potentially do a 100 pack opening uh, sometime soon if that's something you guys want to see. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it. I'll uh, obviously see you guys in the next Duelings video. And uh, thanks for watching.